titles appear. AAPD, American Association of People with Disabilities. Victor Pineda, 2009 Paul G. Hearn Award honoree. Now, on a ski slope, a man sits in a bi-ski chair. <laughs> We're gonna go to Widowmaker to start. It's gonna be bumpy. We're gonna come up 21 okay, inches. Okay? Um, maybe put the chest a little tight. If you want okay. to see ability, take a run down the mountain with Victor Pineda. A skier holds on to Victor's bi-ski as they speed down a slope. There is little that Victor cannot physically do that he hasn't done. From hurling down the Rockies to swimming off the coast of Cuba. Victor's been there, done that, skipped the t-shirt, and instead helped the world see people with disabilities through different eyes. Tony Sorensen. I was introduced to Victor through an image. Victor in a wheelchair tied up on a donkey in the middle of a Sahara desert. To me that represents now nobody has an excuse not to do anything. Heather Finnegan. He's the face of ability. Nothing gets in his way. He can conquer anything, and I think that's the great message that Victor can give to everyone. What kind of style are you looking for? I want edgy, fast cuts. A documentary. I had come to Cuba to see how disabled people live. Victor has spent years documenting folks with disabilities and highlighting their ability on virtually every continent. Filming survival after the Indonesian tsunami, uncovering abuses in Cuba. A boy taps his cane along a sidewalk. A girl holds onto railings. A wheelchair rolls. A young man leans on crutches. We have 600 people share their stories. You can change people's perception if you make them feel something, if you make them understand something that they didn't have access to. It's important to be a good storyteller because once you get to know somebody with a disability, your whole perspective changes. At a bus stop. Thanks, sweetie. How are you, Austin? I'm good. I'm good to good. see you, man. Excellent. How are you going to the bus? Next one. Okay. And something that could happen to you. It could happen to anybody. We've historically been seen as burdens, that society sees that we have no value. My films and my life mission is to change that. Ask questions. Yeah. Victor's filmmaking alone would be a full-time job, but it's only a small part of his day. In a classroom. Or the people group, if I've ever heard their voices of stories. Victor's studying for his PhD. He hires a small army of assistants, giving them opportunities others have denied them. Victor, he was my first like real boss. Video editor Spencer Seabird. Yeah. And it was great to know that I would never be assessed or judged based on based on my disability, and in fact, that was was a qualification for why I know how to treat the subject matter appropriately. In his spare time, Victor was part of a delegation to push for the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. He's even leading a Los Angeles crusade to make every corner of the city accessible. I hate this sidewalk. There's all this stuff is so bumpy here. Victor rides his wheelchair across the street. For Victor, even filmmaking, United Nations lobbying, globe trotting, mentoring, and PhD work wasn't enough. He also runs his own Victor Pineda Foundation to help others with disabilities tell their own stories. We had somebody with cerebral palsy that said, yeah, I don't think we can do it. I can't hold the camera straight. But I said, you don't need to hold the camera to be a filmmaker. In order to tell a story, you have to feel the story. And you have to help other people feel the story. And it doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you are visually impaired, hearing impaired, have cerebral palsy. Victor doesn't hide any of his challenges. He wants the world to see how people with disabilities live and that they have extraordinary abilities who want to and can change the world. If you look at the American story of disability, you'll see a lot of victories. You'll see a lot of challenges, but you'll see also a lot of victories that have given us opportunities that didn't exist. But now we have to continue that. A logo, AAPD, American Association of People with Disabilities. This program has been described by the Media Access Group at WGBH.